what's going on YouTube so we're doing a review here apologize for my face being all broke out I don't really need to apologize for it but I have rosacea it's a skin disease and uh, basically it makes my face like like uh, uh, basically all the blood vessels in my face are rising um, I went like two weeks without getting any medication I just got some yesterday so be clear soon but just explain if I look a little rough that's why it's actually it was worse down here but now it's like kind of like over here anyways anyways um today uh, as you all saw in my christmas videos um over the holiday i got some skull peach haven't finished it i will go ahead and say this it's my first time ever tasting a skull peach i've only ever had the skull berry and skull apple i'm not a fan of fruit flavors and dips i have been very interested in cherry i'm more of a cherry guy i like peaches I like peach flavored like soda and stuff like that, even though I don't really drink soda anymore. Um, but I wanted to give a quick review about this. And somehow, the Dirty Pat Walsh, Pat, he picked up or he got some sent to him, some uh, Timberwolf Fine Cut Natural, which I thought that was hilarious because I was going to go and review it. And then I saw that he had it already up there and I was like, what? So I guess it was just meant to be. But I have never tried any Timberwolf product. I've not had their wintergreen, I have not had their straight or whatever, their peach. I hear the peach is really good, but uh, like I said, uh, I picked up this because I've heard that Timberwolf is a good brand, or an old school brand. Um, I think I remember Pat saying on his video he didn't like the new edition, I guess. I think it's kind of cool, I guess, because I'm into the, I like the anniversary kind of stuff. But, um, uh, and honestly, I kind of kind of dig it. I mean, I like Red Seal, and they have a plastic lid, um, which sucks. But, I mean, old school brands, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's a budget, so it's a budget dip. Now, we're going to check out the skull. Can't promise you I'll keep it in there very long. Because, let me get me a spit cup, spit bottle. Because, oh, there we go. There goes the phone. Anyways, I'm just, uh, it, you know, it's not that bad. Like I said here, I'll go ahead and put a pinch in with y'all. And uh, it smells very peachy. Uh, I was a little turned off at first because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. But surprisingly, it tastes a lot like peach. Like I said, I've uh, heard that the Timberwolf, I think Pat mentions it in his video, that the Skull Peach is, um, is good. Or the Timberwolf Peach is even better. But um, uh, this is the only peach one I've ever experienced, so here we go. Now let's put a smaller dip in, because I actually just had a, a dip in of uh, some Cope Long, Cope LC. So I don't really need any more, and I don't want to waste my dip for no reason, but whatever. It's for y'all, so cheers. Let's get peachy. Now, right away, very sweet. I can instantly, underneath all that sweetness, taste the saltiness of the dip. But the aroma and the flavor of peach it does linger. It makes me think of a peach crush, I believe. Peach crush soda. And um uh, but it's not obviously it's not sweet and crisp. But um uh that's my boy. But um uh, anyway. Of course, gold products, you're not going to get as big of a buzz as Copenhagen. But, um, I kind of dig it. I, like I said, I'm not a huge fruit-flavored person. I cannot stand the apple, um, uh, skull. The berry isn't good either, but I feel like I do kind of prefer it, but it's this nasty. Um, uh, the skull berry reminds me of, and not because of the flavor, but it reminds me of, a uh, Longhorn Wintergreen. I like Longhorn Natural, but Longhorn Wintergreen is just, uh, very unsatisfying, very unflavorful. But the peach, uh, overall lasts very long. Um, I would recommend it as, like, a dessert kind of dip, maybe after a meal. But what I like about it is, I guess, I mean, I don't mind if I'm going to taste the tobacco with a fruity, the fruitiness, but with dip, it's fermented tobacco, so it's already got an aroma itself, so personally, I don't want to taste, I guess, too much of the tobacco when I'm 
tasting a fruitiness unless it's like chew. I can imagine like chew would be better because it's just sweet overall. But I'm not, I've never had any flavored chews. I've only had the regulars. Um, uh, but that's as far as I'm. That's as far as I'm gonna really go with this review on the skull. For a beginner dip, I recommend uh, you definitely check it out. It's an easy dip for starters or people that don't like originals or maybe they don't like winter greens or want to do something different than a winter green. I do recommend to try the skull peach. It's not bad. Like I said, I've tried other flavors. I have not tried any cherries, but I've tried the, which I've heard the cherries are bad, but I've been interested because I like cherry flavor and I feel like I could, would like it more, but I don't know. It might just be like the berry. It might be gross. But I do recommend everybody to try the skull peach. You got the tin. You got the exposed letters. And obviously it's made by U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company, so that's the same makers as Cope, Red Seal, I believe there's one more but or maybe a couple more I, I can't think of it so we're done with that damn let's get to the main one I wanted to review all right I do have something to say and I am not saying that I'm better at anything than anybody or I'm not downing anybody's pinch ability um, uh, Pat said it was a little bit easier for, as far as pinchability goes smells like a natural smells like a cheaper natural um uh but i do want to give maybe some advice Jen, like i said i'm not saying obviously pat has been dipping longer than me he's way more experienced he's a boss um uh but i just wanted to throw out some advice for fine cut i haven't dipped fine cut in about maybe a couple weeks maybe it's been a month um i want to say it's been a couple weeks Okay, maybe three weeks. But anyways, my trick with fine cut, as far as pinchability goes, yes, you might make a mess still, or you might get it all over your fingers. But for me, like when I dip Cope Snuff, it's all about, for me, it's all about how fast you do it. And it doesn't mean you have to race in there and grab it, but it's all in the hand and the scoop. It's all in the wrist. It's all in the hips. Anyways, um... So, I'm going to show y'all how I dip snuff without making a mess. And I'm talking about fine cut snuff. It smells like a natural. It doesn't smell quite as dirty as Longhorn. See, obviously, it's going to fall apart. And I'm dropping some. But I'm just showing y'all. This is how I do it to get it all in my mouth as quick as possible without making a mess. And what you do here is I like to scoop get a good grip on it get your finger under that tobacco and the amount of pinch that you want and you can't really see from my hands here but you see i got my thumb buried on top and i just take that and i push it down with my tongue and Okay, when I was showing originally, I, I already had made a little mess just because I stopped because I wanted to make sure y'all saw it. But I made no mess whatsoever. You take your finger, you dip it in the amount, get the amount you want, put it under that amount, this this uh, in, this pointy finger, and then you get your thumb just on a little bit of the top right there on that mound and put it in. And then push, once you put it in, you put it right here. You don't have to get it all the way in. You need to just push it down with your tongue. Personally, I got a little pocket on my left side of my cheek. And that's because I majority dip on my left side. The majority of the time I dip on my left side. Which, I don't know how good that is, but it's not good at all. But, um, uh, now, instantly, when I have it in my mouth, exactly what Pat said. It's not as salty as most naturals. Longhorn is very is very salty, which I dig because the salt kind of I don't know helps. It is bland. And um, uh, got a little peach flavor still in my mouth, but I'm um, uh, 
I feel about the same about nicotine count is um, skull. Let's see. Let's see here what we got going on. A Wharton Tobacco Co. This is my first time. Oh, Pinkerton Tobacco Co. LP. Owensboro, Kentucky. Oh, okay. Pat read this already, so. <laughs> I recommend everybody go check out Pat's video. By the way. Um, uh. Oh, shout-outs to Tantrum, Snuff Strings, Pat, uh, Uncle Phil Seller. Um, I have 19 subscribers now. I don't know who y'all are. I still have not gotten to a computer to check out who y'all are. But I will be doing that soon. I'm, I have a computer available now to go check that out. As long as I remember my password information and all that shit. <laughs> but, um, um, no. It doesn't bother me. I'd probably rate it about the same as Pat did, maybe a six, maybe a seven. But as far as the budget dip goes, okay, Stoker's has more flavor. It's a budget dip. I like Stoker's Wing Green a lot. But I keep a natural in my mouth more than I keep a Wing Green. And I don't like Stoker's uh, natural. Well, still haven't retried it again after all these years. But Timberwolf, it's a decent budget dip, but I think that they should lower their price i think i paid a little more th than this uh than i did for stokers which i think that they should be they should be priced very similar or this should be lowered but i'm having no complaints right now my mouth isn't too dry moisture uh, level i believe to me longhorn natural is um uh longhorn natural is a little bit more moist but in my mouth it's not a problem i'm not having trouble with any floaters but like i said i'm a little more experienced with uh i don't know i've never really had too much of a problem until i first started dipping uh fine cuts uh or snuffs moist snuffs um uh but it's there's no problem not an immense amount of flavor, but I definitely recommend to try it. Um, maybe stick with your normal dip, your everyday dip that you use, and maybe pick up this on the side. Um, honestly, I dig it. It's not bad. If anything, with less salt, it just makes it that much more of a more natural dip product. So I really enjoy it. Um, I actually, I kind of dig it. Oh, okay, I didn't even realize 1994, 2019. So this really, this dip isn't as old as I thought it was. I didn't even see that. Uh, 94, I mean, I was, I was five years old. Depending on the months. I'm born in June, so kind of in the middle there. But... I dig it. I mean, I'm not having any problems moving it back around in my mouth, moving it around and then moving it back and putting it back in place with the whole dip itself. Maybe a few little floaters, but when I when I release it out of my mouth, you get that. I think I taste more of the salt in my saliva when I spit it. But I'm, uh, you know, I kind of dig it. I'm actually not too. I mean, obviously, everybody wants a tin lid but i mean that doesn't bother me i feel like if you're gonna buy some budget dip you're gonna be dipping the shit out of it anyways because personally if i buy a budget dip once that's your everyday dip and i'm saying budget dip because i buy copenhagen that's my main thing that i go to um i feel like you're gonna dip it faster you're gonna dip it more you know as often you don't want it to go dry by the next day honestly except for um Personally, Red Seal, I don't notice it because cause I guess I still like it. It's a pretty moist uh, dip. You know, you kind of want to dip it within a day or two. And hopefully, Pat, hopefully um, uh, I, uh, I finish it the same time you do. But either way, if not, we still bought it. And we were both thinking about doing a review on it. Or, well, or it was sent to you. But regardless, I went and picked it up and I had no idea that you were going to do it. And who knows, who knows how long you had it, you know, 
before I went and picked up mine or before you decided to do the review. I did watch the video and I loved it. But um, uh, anyways, um, yeah, Skull Peach, definitely pr product wise better, but I'm not a huge fruity flavor kind of guy when it comes to dips. So I like this one more than the Skull personally, but that's just my preference and opinion. And like I said, when you're trying to scoop up that snuff to not make a mess everywhere, you're probably going to get some loose stuff on your fingers. Remember, let's see if I can do this again. I'll show you. I'll put a little more in. Pinchability. It's all about, for me, it's all about just how quick you get it in your mouth. And it doesn't mean you have to race in there and scoop it out. Stick your finger under the amount you want. You don't have to go too far in there. I, go to, I touch the bottom. But then you use your thumb to, you know, get as much as you want. And once you got that grip, you see this finger? I got this on the side past my pointy finger, this middle one, to just do a little scoop. As I'm pushing that in my lip, I have my thumb here on down here to help scoop any excess. And I am it might make a little mess, but you're not gonna make as much. For me, that's the best way. It's not that hard. Maybe use your can. I think I believe I saw Pat do that. That was smarter uh, to do under there. But scoop, push, push down. Have this as your block, your block finger to block any excess. Then use your tongue to push that down. Maybe y'all don't like to use your tongue. Maybe that's just how it is for me. It's just personally, that's how I like to do it. I dipped way more than I wanted to. <laughs> but it was just to help out. You can see how much I've already... Little dent that I made there. But I mean, it's not that much. It's still, still plenty in there. But I'm um, going to probably have to pick up some more now. I got this skull peach. Ugh. <laughs> it's good. It's just I get burnt out on it really fast. But I mean, for anyone that uh, wants to try fruit flavor, I do think the skull is good. But I've also heard that Timberwolf is the best. Or better. But it's all preference and opinion. So none of them are better than any others. All depends on what you like. But as far as those go, Skull, Timberwolf, uh, Fine Cut Natural, Skull, Long Cut, Peach. Two good dips. Not my everyday, but I recommend this. I think it's a good dip. Uh, at least a try. It's not that bad. If you don't want to dip crap, maybe pick up complete crap <laughs> maybe pick up uh some timber wolf and uh that's all i got just a quick real review i hope you are safe i hope you are happy hope everybody's good peace guys love y'all